New at five, will our local schools consider screening students for nicotine? Well, some already do for drugs and alcohol. We wanted an answer after a school district in Nebraska implemented random testing of students for nicotine in an effort to cut down on vaping. KCTV 5's Savannah Rudisell talked to local school districts and parents about schools tightening their drug policies. A new drug policy is front and center at the Smithville School District. They're considering a new policy for drug screening for students. And at this point in the process, everything is on the table, including nicotine. The Smithville School District has about 2,700 students. School officials have been working for the past year on a drug policy to keep each one of them safe and healthy. Superintendent Todd Schutz says people are emotional on both sides of the drug testing debate. It's very much a charged conversation. Um, but it's a good conversation because we're talking about kids and the safety and well-being of our students. Schutz says they don't even have a draft yet of the testing policy. They're still in the research phase. He says the option to test for tobacco use is still up in the air. I don't have an interest in recommending a test for nicotine. Um, I'm not even recommending random student drug testing at this point in time. I'm recommending that we study the issue. Some Smithville parents say schools going beyond drug testing athletes is just a step too far. That's way too much. I mean, for me, as a parent, I wouldn't like that for my child. That's something I could handle on my own. I don't need the school doing it for me. Other people don't see a problem with monitoring teenagers in schools. It's illegal. They shouldn't have nicotine. So I think that's a good, you know, if we can test for it, then maybe that'll cut down a little bit. They know that, you know, we can't, they're not supposed to have it. The U.S. Surgeon General says in 2018, 3.6 million teenagers used e-cigarettes. That includes one in five high schoolers and one in 20 middle schoolers. The CDC says tobacco affects learning, memory, and attention in young people. The Smithville School Board meets tomorrow to discuss a possible drug policy. None of the other districts we reached out to got back to us today. Raytown, Belton, and Excelsior Springs all have drug screening policies, but nicotine is not included. In Smithville, Savannah Rudisell, KCTV 5 News.